One of the most common questions that we get at Veeam is quick backup. What is quick backup? What's the difference between a traditional backup job, a replication job, or even leveraging Veeam Zip? So quick backup actually allows you to create an on-demand restore point on one or multiple virtual machines without the need to go in there, modify the job, or create a new job in order to get that incremental. So let me give you an example, and we're also gonna take a look within the backup software itself, how you do it, how it works, and how simple it is to leverage. So an example would be, you gotta make some changes to your domain controller, but it's during the day and the backup job that that domain controller lives in will not run until midnight or you know 3 a.m. tomorrow night or tomorrow morning, I should say. And so you need to have this now because you're gonna make changes and if something goes wrong, you wanna be able to reverse to the most current restore point, not the one at 3 a.m. the following day. So what you do is you go into the software, you're gonna identify the VM that needs that quick backup, you're gonna right click on that VM under inventory, it's that simple, and you're gonna select quick backup and that's it. It's very simple, that'll generate a new restore point. You can do that for one or multiple virtual machines and you're done. One of the things that's important to note though is that if the virtual machine does not have a full backup uh, or is within a backup job itself, you won't be able to leverage quick backup. So you need to run a full backup first, then you'll be able to run quick backups and create those incremental restore points. So let's take a look now how quick backup works. So as I mentioned during the introduction, quick backup is a tool that you wanna leverage when you wanna take a quick incremental backup of a virtual machine. So that's key right there, because if you try to do quick backup on a VM that doesn't have a full job, a full backup, or incrementals, then you won't be able to perform a quick backup. So let me show you an example. So I'm actually gonna go into my inventory where I've got all my virtual machines, or at least they're, they're visible to me. And in another video, we leveraged ATL Wiki01. If you haven't watched that video yet, please take a look at that one. That one talks about Veeam Zip. So in here, if I go and try to perform a quick backup, I know that this VM doesn't have a full backup. It's not part of a specific job. And so if I try to click on quick backup, as you can see, I'm gonna get an error message right away. And if you can't see that, let me go ahead and zoom in real quick. So I'm gonna use zoom it here. It does break up the quality a little bit, but at least you can see that error message a little bit better. So let's go ahead and zoom back out. And I'm gonna go back to home because again, I wanna show you under explorers that I do have that domain controller 01. If I go and take a look at, you know, when it ran some of these examples in here, you can see that information in here. If I actually go look at my backups, then I can see DC01 has 21 restore points and multiple folds in there. So I should be able to perform a quick backup, no problem. So why quick backup? Why not a full backup? Why not a traditional job or even Veeam zip, right? And let me show you an example, right? So in the job here, if we go back to the Veeam Explorers where that particular VM resides, I'm gonna go ahead and click edit. And I'm gonna go straight to schedule here because what I wanna show you is that this VM, although it's part of a job, only runs once per day at 3 a.m. I know there's an update that I wanna run right now. So I'm giving you a scenario when quick backup would be handy. And I just wanna run an incremental before I go mess around with that particular virtual machine whether it's to change some configuration, remove, install programs, any sort of modification that you're thinking about performing, this is good practice to leverage quick backup instead of waiting for the job to run because you might be making those changes before the job is scheduled to run at 3 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel out of here. Let's go back to inventory. And now let's use the correct virtual machine. We saw that the ATL wiki did not have a full backup, so I wasn't able to leverage that for a quick backup, but we do know that the domain controller indeed does have plenty of restore points, full backup for me to leverage this and show you the functionality. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out again. I'm gonna go ahead and click quick backup. And now you can see, and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in once again, that it says it's been queued because it meets all the necessary requirements. Another thing to note is that because this VM is part of a job, if for some reason that job was starting within the next couple of minutes, it's actually gonna take a back seat to the job, the quick backup job. It's gonna let that run first before that job originates or, or actually before the job begins. And if we have multiple jobs, let's say this VM resides in more than one job, backup job one, backup job two, 
then it would also do a sequence depending on when the most recent restore point took place. So if one took place on Monday, the other one on Tuesday, one would get priority over the other one, right? So again, you can run quick backup for one or more virtual machines at once. If you start quick backup for several virtual machines and these VMs are processed by different backup jobs, as I mentioned, then you would get priority based on when the last and most recent restore point ran for that particular virtual machine. So let's go ahead and exit and we'll get a pop up here to see what the job is doing. As you can see, it's going to be pretty quick because again, this is just an incremental, which is really nice. You don't have to wait for a full and, and everything else to take place. So quick backup, we'll look at that full, we'll see what files have changes like we do with anything else and, and uh, perform the job based on those changes that we have. And as you can see, it's pretty much done. That was pretty quickly. So we'll let it wrap up here at 99%. Once we get 100%, we'll go back into uh, where our inventory and, and our backup inventory, I should say, under home resides. And we'll take a look and you'll see that I believe we had 21 or 22 restore points, which should have an aggregate in there of an additional restore point that you'll now be able to leverage. Now you're free to go and make those changes. Anything you wanted to perform on that domain controller, you can do it without any worries. This is the nice thing about quick backup. So now you know when to leverage quick backup and why versus any other traditional backup or replication job that we have or even VeeamZip in uh, some scenarios. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit veeam.com. Go to learn and how to videos for more of these quick how to videos. In the meantime, let's go back to home and I'm going to go to disk and you can see I now have 22 restore points in here versus the 21 that we had earlier. And if I right click, you'll get your traditional restore options that we have, whether that's a full VM restore, instant VM restore, just the virtual disk, entire VM, some files, you can even get down into the guest OS, Windows or Linux does not matter. You can restore this to other targets as well, not necessarily your typical backup repositories that may be on premise, but you wanna send this off site, perhaps to Amazon or Microsoft Azure, these are the options that you'll be presented with. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.